But sometimes, doing the responsible thing isn't easy. Especially when we have to choose between what we want to do and what we know we should do. For example, let's say you made a commitment to your friends that over the weekend, you would do a class project that was due on Monday. But at the last minute, your other friend calls saying she has an extra ticket to a concert by your favorite band. This is a one-time only event and you would love to go, but you can't do both. What do you do? If my friend asked me to go to a concert from some band that I liked and I had a project to do, I would probably be really bad <laughs> and go to the concert. Complete opposite, because even though it'd probably be really hard for me, I know that I had to do the project. It's a really hard balance because you want to be a kid, you want to go have fun, but if you made a commitment, I think that you really need to live up to that commitment. And I think that you're also letting down the other people. Even though you might be letting down one friend by not going to the concert, there'll be other concerts. Yes, I agree. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's like a project for school. It's like, and pro projects are 50% of your grade. Um, but I think if you're letting down a group of people who are all depending on you for a part of their grade that affects their report card, I think it's a hard decision, but you know it's right, and I personally would have a really hard time with that scenario because I love music, but education is also really important to me, so I personally don't know what I would do. If it was just a project that I had to do, I'd do, i go to the concert and stay up really late doing the project, but if it was the group, like a whole group project, I'd stay with the group because, you know, they're relying on me and I guess the concert, there's always YouTube. I would probably stay home and do the project because even though it would be fun to go to a concert, if you're doing the project with like your friends, then you can still be there doing the project and have fun anyway. Like you could play around with your friends while you're doing the project. Honestly speaking, I would actually go to the concert before I would go to do a science project because like I would put stuff like that before I do science, even though it's not it's not good, but like there's probably more there's more chance that I have a, to do a project again. Since it's like a once in a lifetime thing, like if you never get to go to these kind of things, then you probably just go like, oh my God, you're all hyped in the moment and stuff. But you'd probably make time, a little bit of time to do the science project, maybe before you go or however long you can, and then afterwards, and then you try to make it up to your friends for doing it. Your, your friends would probably understand like if it was them then they'd be like yeah I'm going to the concert. Well, I would be like you have to stay because you made a commitment even though I said that I would leave and go <laughs> I would be like you have to stay this is not fair because I always it, it always happens to me like somebody always supposed to come in and I always have to wind up being the person that always does it and I'll be like I would be yeah. mad. I just let them do them like if they want to go they could go and if they don't they could come help us with the project because they committed to it. That's a total. I feel horrible. I'm like, do what you think is right. I'd be like, oh. my mom. I feel so bad because my mom always says to me, she's like, you know, make your own decisions. You know, do what you want. It's your decision. And then I'm like, oh, now I have to do the right thing. Exactly. And it's like saying, and now it's like, oh my god, if I don't do it, if I don't, if you know, if she's like, you know, have we're gonna have family time. If you just want to blow us off, my mom. It's and then you're like, oh, fine, I'll be home <laughs> in five minutes. And then you're like, ah. Oh. Ah, ah. When you have to make sacrifices if you want to be responsible, because there's always going to be that situation. Um, there's the concert or the project, so you really have to think about what's important. And it is going to have to be the project a lot of the time, because this concert can always come again. But the project is a great, and other people are counting on you. I dance a lot and I used to do competitions and one of the girls who was one of my really close friends dropped out of the competition two days before. We were in seven pieces together and all of like our formations and everything relied on her and she dropped out of the finals and we had to quit the competition. We had to resign and we were probably going to win because it was really good um, and that was really hard for us. She dropped out because of like a wedding with like her cousin, and I understand that family's really important. But the fact that these were 20 girls, we were all like eight, and we all relied on her so much because she was kind of like the leader of us. 
the fact that she'd jump into something else when she'd already committed seven months prior to us. And it was just, the fact that her parents had let her do that was just like, it didn't make sense to any of us, or for me in particular, because we were such good friends and she didn't even call me to tell me. I showed up at the competition with my hair all done and I was ready and our teacher came in and was like, we can't perform girls. Um, it was it was a hard experience and I don't and I think I learned a lot from it. It made me realize that friendship and commitments are really important.